Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is something I've never done before. It is a plus size clothing haul try on. Um, I am very big girl. I'm size 30 to 32, possibly a size 34 in some stuff, which is the very top end of what you can buy on the high street. You can't buy clothes in very many places. I can shop in yours clothing or Evans and uh, not, where, not many places else. Today's haul is from Simply Be Catalog and I will put up some screenshots of everything I bought so that you can see how they think it will look on a human being. Now, one of the problems that any plus size girl will tell you is that the models that they use for plus size clothing, whilst they are plus size compared to industry standard models, they're still, they still very rarely use the largest ladies. So something that looks perfectly good on a size 16 to 18, which is considered plus size by the mainstream modeling industry, will still not look the same on a size 30 to 32. We have far more lumps and bumps than those ladies. So it's very difficult to tell from a catalogue whether something's going to be any good on you or not. Most of what you'll see me trying on is tops. Um, I find it very difficult to buy trousers from the catalogue. They're always the wrong leg length or of the very, I've got, I've got um, unfortunately shaped legs. I very much dislike my legs and I don't like anything that clings around the bits that I hate most. So I find it really hard to buy trousers. There isn't one pair of trousers in this haul. And, um, and it's mostly tops. It's not very long either, but I thought it would be interesting to do a plus size try on for the first time. So I'm going to turn the camera around and make a start. I knew I'd forget something. I should also say this is not a sponsored video. I have ordered these items on my own credit account with Simply Be. I'll be returning anything that isn't any good and I will be paying for the rest of myself. This is not sponsored. I'm not affiliated with Simply Be in any way. It will be a very honest review and try on of, of what's here. Okay, so the first item is this Joe Brown's Cobalt Blue. It looks animal print, but when you look closely, it's actually pansies. So it's a Cobalt, cobalt Blue pansy print tunic top. It has a kind of a gourd detail to the sides, which makes it flare out and a button trim. I've never owned anything Joe Brown's. I've bought stuff to resell before because I'm an eBay reseller, but I've never owned anything Joe Brown's. So I'm interested to see how this looks when it's on. Now I used, I used a discount code when I was purchasing. And so the amounts on my invoice are not going to be the same as the amounts that you'll see in the screenshots, but this one cost me £26.10 with the discount code applied. I think the discount was 30% off, might have been 20%. So there we go, I'll try this one on, we'll see how it looks. So this is the Joe Brown's Cobalt Pansy Print Top. I like the sleeve length. The sleeves come down nice over the arms. I think the shape is quite flattering until I turn, and because I have quite a shelf-like bottom, it sticks out rather oddly at the back there. I'm not entirely sure about these seams here. They've done an outward seam, which I'm sure is deliberate, but I think it looks a bit strange. And it's not massively flattering over the tum, so it doesn't look great from the side. Now, I could make sure nobody ever sees me apart from the front. I could just go into a room like this and then reverse out and never turn sideways. But it's not really a way to live your life, is it? I love the colour. I might keep it. It might look better with jeans. I've put on plain black leggings for this try on, but maybe it would look better with, with jeans. Hmm, maybe. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you think I should keep this one or send it back. Um, as I said, this one was £26.10, so not too bad, but it does show the old ton. In fairness, when you're this size, if you find something that isn't going to show the ton, it's going to be a cardboard box, isn't it? But I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. This next one is by Capsule, which is a Simply Be in-house brand. It's um, a khaki colour zebra print. What is that, Tiger? I don't know, tiger or zebra, with a zip front. I'm really quite pleased about this. I really hope this one looks okay because I really like this one. Um, so yeah, that one cost me £19.80 with the discount applied. So looking forward to trying that one on. Let's see how it looks. I'm quite disappointed about this one. I was really looking forward to it. 
but it clings horribly in all the places I don't want any cling. The sleeves have a kind of a peplum flare, which I've never, never worn a sleeve like this. I'm not sure whether it suits me or not because I've got chunky wrists, obviously, and they seem to hang out underneath a bit strangely. I, I really I quite like this zip neck. That's an actual working zip. Oh no, is it? Maybe it's not. Oh, it is. That's an actual working zip. Look, you can get the boys out and flap them about, although it doesn't sit very well once that's down. But yeah, I just think it's, it's a bit too clingy in the wrong places. It's the kind of thing that if you lost two stone, you'd probably be fine. But who's going to lose two stone, really? I've had this one in my basket for a while and I kept going back and umming and ahhing about it. It's a Lyocell lightweight denim with a zip front again. It was... £31.50 after the discount, so it wasn't cheap, and I don't know how it's going to look. It was a long sleeve with a roll-up tab on there. I really hope it looks nice because I really like it, but it's expensive top if it doesn't look right, so that one, you know, we've, we've, if it doesn't look right, then we're going back. I think we can all agree that this one is a fail. It's like a skin. Now, isn't this strange? Because this one is a 32 the other tops are also a 32, they're from the same company, and yet look at the difference in sizing. It's got side pockets here which are absolutely bursting out in every direction. It clings horribly. It's um, it's too tight across the shoulders, it's too tight in the sleeve. What's going on here, Simply B? What size is this? You know, this is not this, no, I know denim is not as forgiving a material as, as other fabrics, but... This is positively straight jacket like, I can barely breathe. I think this one's going back and it's such a shame because I was looking forward to this one. Another Joe Brown's item is this hoodie. You know, this is expensive. This is £40 after the discount. So this one, definitely a step out of the ordinary for me. And wait till you see what else I got, which would be definitely unusual. It's got a nice star print inner. I quite like that, but I also got the trousers. So these are the only trousers that I bought in the entire haul and I don't know whether I'll end up keeping them. I haven't tried them on yet. They're a nice length, but it depends on whether they cling on the wrong bits of the legs. And I think the chances of me wearing, it, wearing them at the same time as the jacket are very slim. I can't see me doing top to toe tracksuit. I don't think that's who I am, but they did look comfy. The trousers are 26. No, sorry, that's a lie. The trousers are £31.50 after the discount. So yeah, if they're no good, they're definitely going back at that price. I'm not keeping things. I've got to stop keeping things that aren't any good. I tell you something about doing a clothing haul is you get pretty warm when you're doing the try-ons. The last thing I need to be wearing right now is a fleece lined tracksuit jacket. It fits reasonably well, it's tight when it's done up. Um, I probably wouldn't wear it done up, but it's not too bad when it's undone. I quite like this. I do like the lining on the hood. I like the star print lining there. This might be a keeper, which should be the first one so far, I think. But gosh, it is warm. The question then is, do I need a jacket, really? Let's try the trousers on. I think these are another no. At 30 odd pound, I think they're too expensive for what is essentially an indoor trouser. I wouldn't go out in these. They're, um, watch out for the belly. They are very snug here, they've got pockets, but again, the pockets are not sitting right because they're a bit too tight. These were a size 32, so they should have been big enough, but they're just, they're a nice length. You guys can't see down to the floor. Let me just tip you forward. Bear with me. So they're a nice length, which um, is nice in the trousers, because quite often trousers stop where I don't want them to. But I don't, they don't see me going out and these are the parts of my leg that I hate, these, these um, areas below my knee, they're very, very large and misshapen and they've been like that for years, it's just, just the shape of my legs, but I'm very self-conscious about them and so I don't see me, somehow I don't see me going out in these trousers and yet, funny enough, I'll wear leggings. Where's the logic in that? I don't know, let's take you back. There they are with the matching jacket, again, I can't see myself going out. Top to two tracksuit, top to toe. I can't see myself going out top to toe tracksuit. I don't think it's me. This jacket's really very warm. It's not very flattering, is it? 
And then finally, mostly for comedic effect, I bought this. This is a toweling house gown um, for when you get out of the shower. I already have some, a couple of their toweling wraps that have straps and the Velcro. So I thought I'd try this and if nothing else, I'll wear it over the swimsuit so you guys can't see me in the swimmer. <laughs> Crazily enough, out of the whole haul, this is probably the item I'm definitely going to keep. <laughs> This is the toweling robe that you can put on after you get out of the shower. Toweling robe is, where's the price for this one? £23.40 after the discount I had, and this is going to be perfect for getting out of the shower. So this is a win anyway. Trying this one on for you guys will be a real act of bravery for me because it will involve getting bits of my body out that I normally only expose on holiday when I'm surrounded by people I'm never going to see again. But I did think, I'm going on holiday soon, I thought I might like a new swimsuit. After discount, this one came in at £19.80, I think. Sorry, £18.20. £18.20 after the discount. So um, it's got one of those odd cups that's... You know when they have the, the funny line in the cup, it's folded in on itself. We'll see when I try that on. I'm not looking forward to trying this one on. Not looking forward to be, being seen trying this one on. This is a real step of bravery. Here we go for the swimsuit. Now I've kept my own underwear all underneath because obviously when you try on swimwear you don't try it on au naturel. So my own underwear is underneath and it's just as well and you'll see why because this is extremely low cut. <laughs> this, is, this is where the swimsuit stops. All this is my bra. If I didn't have this on I'd be out there. I would be showing, <laughs> showing you things you never thought you'd see on this channel. <laughs> It doesn't fit is the bottom line. It's not too bad around here, I hate my legs. Any trouble in comments, by the way, will be deleted and I will hunt you down and murder you. So I hate my body, I don't like my body generally, but my legs are my least favourite bit. But it just doesn't fit, there's not enough here. It's very, very tight on the shoulders, even though I've extended the straps as long as they'll go. I had a nightmare trying to do it up. It's still not done up right now, I just gave up in the end. You can see the back though, it's not, not fastened correctly. It doesn't fit. It just doesn't fit. It's a shame because it's quite cheap and I did need a new cosy. It's, um, where was that price? I told you earlier on, didn't I? It's £18.20. It's a size 32. They don't do a larger one. This is the biggest size. And that's the problem. That is the problem for plus size ladies, is that most places think that 32 is as big as we go. I feel a bit that I'm a large lady, but I'm not the largest lady I've ever seen. There are definitely ladies who are bigger than me. We still want to be able to go in the swim pool on holiday. We still want to be able to, to dress fairly nicely. And most places just stop at 32. I believe in the States there are some places that do bigger sizes. And I don't know about maybe getting some stuff sent over because shopping in the UK is it's traumatic for plus size ladies. Going into store to try things on is traumatic. Um, I mean... Much praise to yours clothing, Hoover have lovely large changing rooms with good lights, but Evans have terribly small changing rooms with terrible lighting. And I don't know where, I think they get their mirrors from the Hall of Mirrors because I've never looked worse than I do in, a, in an Evans changing room mirror. But yeah, yours clothing have lovely changing rooms, but their stores are few and far between. And large ladies are not few and far between. There's a lot of us, but there's a lot of us out there. And large men as well who want to shop for that matter. We're not catered for. And this just goes to show that the sizing in catalogues is not it's not right. I mean, you might be thinking she's kidding herself. Maybe she's just bigger than that because none of this stuff sat right or fit right or whatever. And yet I can go into yours clothing and buy stuff in this size and it's fine. Are they just more generous with their cut? Or on the other, on the other hand, are the catalogues more skimpy with their cut? How much of their sales rely on people just not bothering to send things back? I know I pick up an awful lot of plus size clothing brand new with tags to resell. Is that because people order stuff and they just don't bother sending it back? This has been, it's been interesting. It's been, it's been the first time, sorry about the light on my glasses. It's been the first time I've done a video like this. Um, it's been quite scary because when you don't like the way you look in clothes, you don't necessarily want to ask other people what they think, just in case they agree. But please do leave your comments below. Uh, I'm going to keep the toweling robe and I might keep the first blue top. I wish I could keep the um, 
the green striped one. I might try it on with some jeans in a minute and see if it looks better with jeans because I really like it, but it just didn't didn't look good. I might have a look and see if they do it in a bigger size, but I'm pretty sure this was the top size. Not overly sure about those sleeves though. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.